Hi, welcome to How to Repair. This video is on how to replace a tumble dryer belt. We're working on a Whirlpool, but this video is good for Whirlpool, Bootneck, Boss, Ingus, Maytag, Proline. All the relevant models are below. The first thing we need to do is get round to the back of the machine and take the lid off. Now I'm replacing this belt, it's a 1965 H6 belt was the original belt, but I'm replacing it with a H7, uh, which is a little bit more strength on the belt itself. Now if your tumble dryer is not turning at all, when you take the lid off, you would actually not see the belt there if it has snapped. It usually falls down to the bottom of the machine, but you can see how badly this belt is worn. First thing you need to do is disconnect the appliance from the electricity supply before working on it. Uh, good idea is always take a photograph of the wiring if you're removing any. And now we're going to remove this back panel. There's about eight, nine screws all the way around and the panel comes off. If you're trying to change a belt on a different type of machine, I suggest you visit the website as we have many uh, videos on different belt changes. Uh, on different manufacturers of course. So there we go, the back panel's off. Right, the first thing we need to do is remove the electrics from the heater unit and take away the wiring. The whole of this back support plate actually comes off the machine to change the belt, but I'll show you that in a second. Just unclip all the wiring, get it out of the way. Next you'll find there's two screws, one on either side, just take these out. And then just above those screws uh, you'll find two clips that uh, lock into place on the chassis of the machine. And we just need to lift this up slightly and then it just pulls out. Very nice design this machine. Now at the bottom here you've got some support wheels that support the drum as it's rotating. And the belt just comes straight off. You'll now have to just get the belt through the jockey wheels and off the spline of the motor. It's a lot easier when you've got two hands and not holding the camera. Now when fitting the new belt, you need to get the belt over the drum, try to keep it as close as possible to the original mark where the old belt came off. Then actually just get the belt over the motor spline and then get the two jockey wheels tensioned on either side. Now we've done that, we'll just get the back plate on and then we'll align the belt after. Right, once you've actually got the drum support onto the drum itself, you need to get the two clips on either side of the chassis clipped in before putting the screws in. And there we go. Now we'll just replace the two screws and then we'll align the belt up on the pulley and onto the drum. While I'm doing this you'll find links above to the actual belt for this machine and to the belt section for tumble dryers within the website if this isn't the belt for your machine and please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel as that's what keeps us going and able to make these free videos for you and you could also like us on Facebook if you wish by clicking on the link above. Right, what we need to do now is align the belt up to the original mark on the drum where you could see the old belt used to be. And just rotating the drum round, just keep bringing the belt onto the original mark. You might need to adjust the belt on the motor shaft uh, pulley or spline, just bringing it backwards or forwards depending on where your belt is aligning on the machine at the time. And there we go all nicely aligned. So what we'll do now is put the back plate back on the machine and connect up the electrics and then we'll give it a test. Right, while I'm doing this remember when ordering a belt you can either identify it with the model number 
or the belt will have a number written on it. It could be the part number or it might have the length of the belt. This belt, for example, was 1965H6. I've replaced it with a 1965H7. The H6 and H7 just means the amount of grooves that are on the belt. Uh, the H7 is actually a little bit stronger. When visiting the website, by the way, you'll find uh, videos on how to change heaters, how to change motors, uh, drum changes, and so on. And we also do videos on all domestic appliance repairs. Now, if you've got a reverse action tumble dryer, do let it go both ways before actually uh, thinking it's finished, just to make sure the belt's lined up perfectly. And there you go, all perfect. Well, we hope you found this helpful. Thanks very much for watching this video. Please mark us down to your favourites and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks very much for watching.